Hey, what's going on everyone? It's King Tuds Pro back with another tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this really cool glitch flame effect intro without any plugins or any of that crazy stuff. This is absolutely free. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this for free. Sorry I've been gone lately. It's because I'm trying to be I'm trying to catch up with school and stuff like that. So you kind of have to balance both. So please don't kill me, guys. I'm trying to put out the best content as I can. Uh, so just leave a like and that will just you know support me and the channel So just subscribe as well if you guys want more videos like this especially with intros I'm trying to go more with intros lately just because I, I, I get a lot of Messages on how to create intros and stuff like that So I just want to show you guys how to do different styles of intros Okay, so if you guys do want that just leave a like and that'd be awesome So this is the effect that I'm gonna show you guys how to do it's really easy and really simple um, so you guys will need certain things to get started and that is going to be obviously the fire elements or the fire flame cartoon fire flame overlays okay and I'll link a, a, a video in the description to where I got this uh, it's a youtuber he uploaded it uh, so shout outs to him you will also need the sound effects to go along with it because nothing looks good without sound so uh, the TV static uh, I'm gonna show you guys where I got that as well and the flame sound effects I'm gonna show you guys where to get that as well now you guys will need some sort of logo or text I of course didn't you want to use my own because I just kind of want to use someone else's uh, just because I want to see how it would look like if it was your own logo. I don't have a logo, so uh, you guys can check out this one here, and it's called Sound Snap. I'm not sponsored by Sound Snap, just letting you guys know that. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and just search for th certain things. So you guys can do, uh, you know, TV static. I already did that. Or maybe if you want to look up for flame, you can just type in like flame, uh, flame burst. I think that's what what it was called. And uh, you guys have a whole bunch of you know certain fireball uh, flame burst sound effects and stuff like that of course you will need to buy these though however uh, you guys do get really high quality sounds from this website but if you guys don't want to get it from there you can always go on to epidemic sound you know once you sign up you guys get a 30 day free trial which allows you to download as much music as you want pretty much so you guys can look up sound effects as well on here and they have a whole bunch and they're in really good quality so so what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start from from where I want to add so in this case I want to go ahead and just start with the actual logo or text assuming you have a logo or a text already good to go Maybe it's in a in a group's layer or in a in a compound clip. All you gotta do is just drag this here and make the settings to 30 frames per second. Once you guys are there, the next thing you wanna do is of course scale this down. Now what I would do is I would go into the titles and generators and go to the generators and go on to uh, one that's called custom and just drag that below. The reason we're gonna add this is because we want the we want something to be below it so kind of think of it as Photoshop okay so I'm gonna leave this around I don't know five seconds I think that's pretty long for an intro I think for an intro the max you should do is anything less than five seconds next is add the fire or the fire elements so in this case you have a whole bunch so if I go to import media and I go into the DAO or desktop so it is by I think it says geo so um, he has a whole bunch of you know packs and folders so you have explosion you have smoke color if you click on this one you can see what these look like all right and they look really really cool like i said these are all in 1920 by 1080 full resolution uh videos so that is good and in here you have a bunch of fire flame effects okay and they don't come with sound unfortunately but you guys of course can get the sound effects from the websites i showed you now once you chose your your favorite uh fire flames or whatever elements you want and i'm going to drag this right on top okay so when i push play you're going to see that it's going to come right on top but we're going to drag that below the text here since we changed the blend mode you can see over right over the flame and that's what you want so we're also going to change the size of this so we're going to kind of bring this down a little bit to something like that and we're going to make this sort of in the middle and from here all you have to do now is position the flame or the fire element I think like around here I'm going to go ahead and just adjust this whoops I'm going to adjust this one up here like that and you can always make it smaller as well so it kind of proportionally fits the frame there so click done and now if I push play uh, maybe we can bring this down a little bit more something like that and we can increase it and click done 
So now if I push play, you can see how that looks like. But of course, it doesn't look really, it doesn't look that interesting because the, the font or the logo is just stationary. So we're gonna add some movement. So go to all video and type in handheld and drag this right on top of that clip. So now if I push play, you can see that it's slightly moving, but we're gonna increase this bit around there. I don't know, something like that, push play. Uh, might want to go a little extreme on this one. So something like that, of course, you can always adjust the values. So adjust it to how you like it. And we're going to go bring this down just a tad. There you go. I'm just going to leave something like that, okay? Go with the flame too fast. That's the one I named it. I'll leave those linked in the description. Um, so I'm going to, if I can, I'm going to drag this below here. The TV static. So I'm also going to drag this down here, okay? Around there. And I'm gonna bring this down here. Whoops, I don't wanna fade it. I wanna trim it down. So I'm gonna trim it down to around there. And I'm gonna drag this at the very beginning. And I'm gonna drag the flame over here. So it starts sort of over here, okay? And I'm gonna drag this below. So the black, try to move this as as, as low as you can, okay? Uh, so we're gonna push play and see what that sounds like. Sweet, so it sounds something like that, and you can see how long the audio track is. Uh, in this case, we're gonna do some trimming. We're gonna start with this. We're gonna have the TV static there, and I'm gonna push play. So right there, I want it to start, but I want this to be black in the beginning. So to do that, we're gonna have to actually use this here, and that's the reason why we wanna add it there. So we're gonna go ahead and actually move this a little bit inwards, and we're gonna bring this back there. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut this and drag this in the beginning. Okay, and then we can uh, drag this over here. I'm gonna drag this so that this aligns here so it sounds like it's starting at the ex same exact time. That's, that's what you want it to do. So now if I push play, there you go. So now you have that, okay. And this doesn't look centered to me. So I'm gonna drag this up a little bit. There we go. I think that looks more centered. So now if I push play, got that and then the flame is going to come in just a little bit so and then we're going to get rid of this static because there's already static happening or we already have the flame sound effect so we don't want those two to overlap so we're going to cut it here and then we're going to cut it around here okay so now i'm going to go ahead and select this i'm going to delete it and i'm going to drag the end part of that sound effect and i'm going to bring it back here so now if I push play, we're also going to decrease the volume for the flame sound effect. Sweet. So we got that. Okay. And then we might, we might want to kind of, uh, we're going to bring this down a little bit. Maybe increase the, well, we'll get rid of this piece. So we're going to make a little gap in between the first TV static sound effect and the ending of that stat, uh, TV static effect. Now we're going to go ahead and just fade the ends of this so it doesn't sound ab abrupt. And we're also going to fade this one in a little bit. And then for this one, now if we push play. So you can hear that there's like a click happening and that's when the TV is going to turn off. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this here. Well, sort of around here maybe until the flame goes away. All right, there we go. I think around here is where it's going to end. So we're going to drag this inwards like that. And let's see what that sounds like. Well, maybe you can increase it. There we go. So now I'm going to bring this down here and fit it or trim it down to the very end of this here. There we go. All right, I'm going to bring this down, delete the rest of that because we don't need it. Sweet. So now we got this. Okay, so now if I push play right here where we hear that little sound or that click, we're going to trim it. So we're going to drag this over here. So let's see, there you go. So now the black uh, custom uh, generator or pretty much the background should be black. So now it kind of looks like it's gone. So if I push play, it kind of sounds like that and it looks like that, all right? So that looks pretty good to me. We might want to kind of fade this out as well. So let's see what that sounds like. Sweet, so we got that. Now, the next thing we need to do is add the VHS overlay. So I'm gonna drag this on top, and I'm gonna push play. Uh, maybe we wanna add this around here towards the middle. Well, let's see. Let's bring this down here. And we're gonna cut it around here. 
So we're we'll delete that. Okay. And then let's see. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can increase this here. There you go. So we'll add a little bit of that static effect, but just enough so we can add this up here. Okay. So let's see what that sounds like. That looks pretty cool. And then it's going to cut off. Comment down what you guys want to see for my next video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.